Warning, this content is for entertainment and educational purposes only. This video is brought to you by First Detachment Nutrition. Battle tested, expert formulated. Use discount code AB10 at checkout for 10% off. All right, Jim Bros, Big Paul here today with a question that's had me scratching my head for a while. Why do powerlifters seem to be healthier than bodybuilders? Let's be honest, powerlifters don't follow the best diet most of the time. I see some powerlifters eating some pretty cruddy food, although there are a few out there now that are following better diets, so I will give you guys credit on that one. But it's not the same as the bodybuilder, lower fat, more detailed diet that a bodybuilder follows. Powerlifters often aren't weighing and measuring food and stuff like a, like a bodybuilder is. And let's be honest, most powerlifters are carrying a higher amount of body fat than bodybuilders. And they're running things like Anadrol, D-Ball, testosterone, etc. But they seem to have better health outcomes than bodybuilders. Why is this? We're going to dig into my theory on it in just one second. I don't know why this one's been keeping me up at night. And I have been thinking about this constantly with power lifters. They do not seem to fall over dead like bodybuilders do. You don't see you hear of powerlifters or even strongmen having heart attacks, strokes, kidney failure, things like that that you hear of in the bodybuilding community. And I've been scratching my head and thinking about this one a good deal. And I think it boils down to really one simple thing that you see with bodybuilders. It's contest prep. Contest prep is where you're doing the most damage to your body in my, um, in my estimation. So you'll see bodybuilders do extreme diets on contest prep. They get very depleted. They run some extreme drugs on contest prep. And then at the end, they're doing things like diuretics and dehydration protocols that probably cause damage to the kidneys and cardiovascular system. Power lifters... Most powerlifters, let's be honest, are borderline on the <laughs> obese end of the spectrum when it comes to body fat percentage. Not all of them. There's some leaner powerlifters. Guys don't seem to be fat like they were back in the 90s and early 2000s, but now powerlifters do seem to be better with their diets than they once were. They take a lot of powerlifters. I see love A-bombs, Anadrol, which is has a reputation for being one of the more harsh orals that you can take in poor for your health. So it seems that even though these guys are doing things that are a little bit harsher, I don't see power lifters running the crazy doses that bodybuilders do. It seems to be that power lifters run like half what a, your typical bodybuilder does. It's really some pretty moderate doses. I, I talked to a guy that I know that's um, a high level professional power lifter and his cycles are very moderate to what I've seen most bodybuilders run. I think the dude told me he was running something like 500 tests, 300 deca, and then 50 milligrams of Anadrol peaking for his competition. This guy's a pro. That's baby doses for bodybuilders. So power lifters tend to run lower doses. I also see that a lot of times power lifters either come down to TRT or cycle off completely. They're not running higher dose cycles year round. And they are letting food be their primary anabolic. They run lower doses. They stick with safer compounds more times than not. I see powerlifters mostly, I, for, at least from what I've seen, are running tests and uh, DECA in the off season. That seems to be what they run. And then when they're peaking for a meet, they use uh, Anadrol or Halo Testin, but only for like the last month or so. It's a very limited run of it. Bodybuilders, the most dangerous part of the bodybuilding season is the contest prep. And that's when you throw the kitchen, everything but the kitchen sink at it with bodybuilders. So, you know, usually a typical bodybuilder contest prep. I mean, you're going to see all kinds of stuff getting thrown, thrown at it. You'll have test, you'll have Masteron, you'll have Tren, you'll have Halo Test, and you'll have Winstrol, you'll have Anavar, you might be running diuretics. Uh, you are, 
you know, a lot of times the oral dosages get ridiculous on some of the pro contest prep cycles that I've seen. I've seen guys run you know, two grams of orals alone going into a show that are on the professional level. You do not see that with power lifters. And then at the end, I this is my speculation. I, I've talked about this before. I think a lot of the damage that you see done and a lot of times when you hear of, of people falling over dead, it's on the very end of contest prep where you're dehydrated. Uh, you're, a lot of times there's erythrocytosis. Your blood is <laughs> like maple syrup at the end. And then you're dehydrated on top of it. And you end up doing damage to your kidneys, damage to your cardiovascular system. And a lot of that times that stuff doesn't manifest itself down the road. Sometimes you have a... Uh, an acute event where somebody will have a heart attack or stroke at the end of a contest prep. But a lot of times that does not manifest itself until later down the road where guys will have kidney failure or damage to their kidneys. You just do not see this stuff in powerlifters. At least I have not seen it in the powerlifting community. So even though bodybuilders eat a cleaner diet, bodybuilders seem to do more cardiovascular exercise than powerlifters. Bodybuilders tend to be more meticulous about taking care of their bodies for the rest of the year than a power lifter is. Power lifters seem to have better health outcomes. And I am pretty sure that it has to do with contest prep and how reckless cycles get on contest prep. And power lifters seem to be more conservative. There are, you know, granted that there are power lifters that are trying to make weight, but I do not see the same level of extreme stuff that bodybuilders are doing with power lifters. I just don't see it. Power lifters are more moderate with their doses. Power lifters uh, don't have these periods of extreme depletion, at least most of them that I see. And overall, it does seem like power lifters have better health outcomes because of it. So I don't know. I, this is just my speculation. This is what I think. This is what I think is going on. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Why is it that power lifters seem to be healthier than bodybuilders, even though using PEDs, even though they tend to follow crappier diets, even though they don't do cardio, why are power lifters healthier than bodybuilders generally? Leave your comment below. If you want to support me, I would appreciate it if you support my sponsor, First Detachment. Link to their supplements is in my video description below. Use my discount code AB10. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. For coaching or consultations, head over to www.anabolicbodybuilding.com to book your spot today. I can help you with optimizing hormones, fat loss, muscle gain, physique, athletic performance, nutrition, and health. For more information, shoot me an email at bigp3rd at gmail.com.